So I'm gonna be going over the top eight iPhone 13 mini tips and tricks. Now doing each one of these is gonna help you get the most out of your iPhone and the first tip is a big one. It's switching from light mode to dark mode. So you do this in your display settings, right at the top you're gonna to see the option to switch to dark mode. And when you do this, it's gonna be a lot easier on your eyes, especially since this phone has an old display. And it's also gonna help you save a little bit of battery life. Now the next thing I would recommend doing is organizing pages. This was a feature released on iOS 15. And if you've added a bunch of pages since getting your iPhone, you can move them around you know, to however you want. And it just helps you stay organized and it's something I would recommend checking out. Now, speaking of iOS 15, I wanna recommend two widgets to check out immediately, SmartStack and the battery widget. Now, SmartStack is cool because when you add it to your home screen, you can actually just move a bunch of widgets into it. So I'm gonna show you how it works. It's got a few different sizes. I'm gonna go with like the medium one here. Then when you add it, you can kind of just go up and down and it's gonna just have you know any widgets that you want in there and you can just access them a lot easier. Now the battery widget is another one I recommend checking out because seeing your battery life is a big deal. Now you can also add different things to the battery widget if you're using you know AirPods or any Apple accessory, it'll pull the battery life into it, which is pretty cool when you're connected to Bluetooth. Okay, another thing is bringing the old Safari back. Now, on iOS 15, they've put the browser at the bottom, which is extremely annoying, but there is a way to make the browser tab go back to the top. So you can do this in your settings. Now, when you wanna go into your settings, scroll down to Safari, and then when you go into Safari, you gotta go down a little bit here, but you're gonna see a single option. You just wanna tap it. And when you do this, it's gonna put you know the tab back at the top. So check this out. And yeah, that is a beautiful thing right there, all right? And uh, it is a little bit uh, annoying having to go to the bottom when you you know type things into the, the address. Okay, the next thing is trying the back tap for screenshotting. This is in your accessibility settings and it's pretty cool. Now what you wanna do is go into accessibility. You wanna click touch. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down here and there's gonna be a back tap option. Now you wanna click on the first one, it's gonna be the double tap and then you can click that, click screenshot, and this is really cool, so get ready for it. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. That is so cool. All right, so that's a double tap feature for taking screenshots. And before we get more into this, I wanna recommend everyone check out the Binance US app. Now this is my go-to cryptocurrency trading app that I highly recommend checking out, especially if you're not in crypto right now. Now cryptocurrency is a great way to make money using your phone. So if you guys wanna learn more about Binance US or get started, we'll have some bonus sign up and resource links in both the description and comments. Next, I wanna go over changing your passcode from six digits to four digits. Now this might not seem like a big deal, but if you are using the passcode option, it makes getting into your iPhone a lot easier when it's only Four. So what you want to do is go into your settings, then you want to look for the face ID and passcode option, which should be somewhere in the middle here. Now, when you click on it, you're going to have to enter your passcode. And then you want to go to the change passcode option. You got to enter it one more time and there's going to be like a blue text right underneath it. So this is where you're going to want to click the four digit option. I'm just going to do one, two, three, four to make this easy. Then I'm gonna have to enter it one more time. And now it's gonna set it. This could take like five or 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna you know, lock the phone up and get back into it. But honestly, guys, if you are using a passcode going from six to four, it is just a lot easier for you when you, you know, switch it up to that four digit. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next thing I wanna go over is recommending a good case to use, which is gonna be the Spigen Tough Armor series. Now, it doesn't have to be this specific case. Spigen makes a lot of cool cases. This is just one that I've used on iPhones every time I've got a new one over the years. It's got the Apple logo cutout. It's got a kickstand feature. It sells for like $18, so it's really affordable. And you know, we got the blue on blue look right there that looks just super slick. Just holding it up to the camera for you guys a little bit here. Okay, and now the last thing is to subscribe to Apple Arcade. Look, if you're using an iPhone 13 right now and you are not using Apple Arcade, 
I don't know what you're doing with your life, right? You know, I'm a huge mobile gamer. It's like five bucks a month to subscribe to this. And I'm actually going to throw up a game, Detonation Racing, and play it for a couple of minutes for you guys because honestly, like, the games on Apple Arcade are awesome. So let's check this game out. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.